Hey friends, it is Thursday, August 27. Uh, I don't know about you, but boy, today I, I just, I find myself in a, in, a, in sort of a melancholy mood. I, I have been reading about, um, well, so, man, so many things going on right now. Uh, the, the the shooting of Jacob Blake that is now in the news, that's been in the news for the past couple days, the rioting that's going on in Wisconsin, a shooting in the midst of some protests uh, in, in Wisconsin, and then I just read, or I've been reading more about the uh, Category 4 storm in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, uh, Laura, I think, is the name of this hurricane, barreling down on 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 the the shore of Texas and Louisiana. And of course, we're in the midst of pandemic. We're trying to figure out what the fall looks like. It, it, it's just a heavy, heavy day, um, it, at least from my perspective. Uh, and yet, at the same time, there there are things that I have experienced over the course of the day that have brought joy to my uh, to my spirit a wonderful conversation with a member of the uh, of the church uh, an, another conversation with one of our young people um, the 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 site yesterday of the Millwood impact uh, feeding program food uh, distribution that was in the parking lot um, you know there are there is the strange dichotomy of, of life, of both the hallelujahs and the and the deep sighs, the deep groans uh, that come at us and, and, and make us, I think they just make us real in so many different ways. We're up one day, we're down another. Uh, and, and it just feels so, so magnified during this particular, during this particular season. At least it does for me. Um, and I imagine it is, uh, it is that way for, for many of you as well. Um, and in the midst of that, I guess I'm thankful that we began this discipline uh, several months ago now of spending eight, nine, ten minutes uh, with a psalm and in prayer and a little bit of a reflection, centering ourselves, founding our lives daily uh, as people following Jesus. And so I'm thankful for you today. I'm thankful that we have this little thing going on. And uh, today as we hear from a, a longer psalm, Psalm 35, I want to invite you to take a moment to, to let your heart settle and prepare to hear this word from the scripture. Psalm 35, contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like the chaff before wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without a cause, and without cause dug a pit for me, may ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in God's salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave me like one bereaved. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning as though for a friend or a brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Assailants gathered against me without my knowledge. 
they slandered me without ceasing. Like the ungodly, they maliciously mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. How long, Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages, my precious life from these lions. I will give thanks in the great assembly among the throngs. I will praise you. Do not let those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Do not let those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the, in the land. They sneer at me and say, aha, aha, with their own eyes we have seen it. Lord, you have seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted, or say we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy with gladness. May they always say, the Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your praises all day long. It's a hard psalm, isn't it? A lot of, a lot of um, raw anger, a lot of raw emotion offered up to God in the midst of this psalm reminds us that uh, you know there, there are things in the Bible we don't necessarily expect to see. We don't expect to see somebody uh, somebody lashing out at enemies that later on Jesus will call us to pray for. And yet here it is. And, uh, and I think we recognize that there's a place for our own emotion in this. There's a sense that from time to time there are, there are moments that we feel the way this, this writer, this author is feeling. And, and honestly, in this particular day, this verse 17 resonates, at least with many of us. How long, Lord, will you look on? Uh, there's a frustration in that prayer. There's a sense of, 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 of question of like, Lord, why are you not doing more here? Why are you not at work? Uh, I, I was with some friends uh, on a call the other day, and one of them prayed, Lord, prayed a very raw prayer actually he said uh, Lord we could sure use some help down here and then listed a, a whole bunch of things and and uh, I don't always know what to do with that except I do know that there's truth in it that there's a, see, a, a feeling of reality in that prayer that sometimes we are just in a place where the emotion gets us and we say Lord please do something because the things that we're doing aren't seeming to work. Well, I guess that's where I'm going to end this, this day in terms of my reflection. And as we pray, let's pray that prayer that says, Lord, Lord, we, we need you. We need you in this world because there's a lot that is problematic. There's a lot that doesn't make sense. Let's go to God in prayer. Lord, we, we need you. We try as we may come up again and again short of being able to, to find our way to peace, to find our way to wholeness, to find our way to justice, to find our way to righteousness. Lord, we, in our best attempts, seem to dig holes even deeper sometimes. In our best attempts, seem even further from where we want to be. Lord, we pray that you would move powerfully, that you would move in a mighty way in our world, that you would move in the issues of natural disaster, of, of, of racial injustice, of violence, of pandemic and health, of economic disparity, economic brokenness issues of homelessness, issues of, 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 of unemployment, that you would move in broken relationships and bring about your healing. 
Lord, we want to be people who, who can proclaim the good news of your coming in Jesus Christ and the, the gospel that, that Jesus brought. That the kingdom of God is in our midst and we have the opportunity to, to give witness to it. So Lord, fill us with that sense of awe, with that sense of hope that we would walk in the midst of your Holy Spirit. That somehow, even in this world, you are at work. Or give us the confidence to know that. To live this day in its truth. To not despair. To not, to, to not give up hope. To love our neighbors. To love our enemies. To be for those at the margin. Lord, to live lives of wholeness and fullness that you have created for us to live. Lord, may it be this day. May it be so. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Great to be with you, friends. I'm so glad that we are together in this. God bless you, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care.